now to the historic criminal trial of former President Donald Trump. In opening statements today, prosecutors told jurors that Mr. Trump orchestrated a criminal scheme to influence the 2016 election. They say the $130,000 payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels was to silence her in order to win the election. And the first witness was the former publisher of the National Enquirer, who prosecutors say bought and then covered up negative stories about Trump. I want to see reporter Darla Miles is live in front of the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with much more on today's events. Darla. Liz, prosecutors say President, former President Donald Trump wanted to suppress any negative stories about him during the 2016 neg uh, presidential election and that this catch and kill scheme was a pretty pr uh, common practice for him. But that could be considered the motivation for the crime. The alleged criminal act is pretty straightforward. The act of falsifying business records, which is a white collar crime. David Pecker, the former CEO of the National Enquirer and first witness called to the stand on the first day of the criminal trial of former President Donald Trump. Pecker just beginning his testimony when court recessed early at 12.30 p.m. Opening arguments taking up much of the morning. Prosecutors saying the former president cooked the books to hide a payoff to Stormy Daniels in order to buy her silence about an alleged sexual encounter she'd had with the former president. I should be in a lot of different places right now campaigning and I'm sitting here. Prosecutors say Trump's former attorney and fixer, Michael Cohen, paid $130,000 of his own money to pay Pecker to buy the Daniel story just to bury it. Trump having to repay Cohen $420,000 so he wouldn't take a tax hit. An assistant district attorney telling the jury Trump couldn't write a check for porn star payoff and try to conceal the financial crime by lying about his business records over and over and over again. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg seated behind behind his team in the first row. They call it a legal expense. That's the exact term they use, legal expense in the books. Trump's defense attorney pointing squarely at Cohen, who's already been convicted and served time for falsifying business records to conceal the payoff. The defense saying President Trump had nothing to do with the 34 counts other than signing the checks while he was in the White House, while he was president, adding that Trump is not charged with conspiracy and there's nothing illegal about a scheme. The felony trial starting off with a ticked up police presence outside of the courthouse after Friday when a man traveled from Florida to lower Manhattan to publicly set himself on fire. Now, court will resume tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. That is when there will be a hearing as to whether or not former President Donald Trump violated the gag order and whether or not he will be ordered to pay $1,000 per violation. That's how court will begin tomorrow. After that, David Pecker will return to the stand. Reporting live in lower Manhattan, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.